welcome back children to a last video for chapter 8 economy and occupation and today we are completing the activity on page 59 where you have this graph okay multiple line graph it shows india's trade with brazil that is india's exports to brazil and india's import value to from brazil and the value is given in million us dollars okay so the value is given on the y axis in million us dollars for different years from 2008 onwards let's understand the graph first the blue line is the exports to brazil from india and the pink lines are imports from brazil to india so basically this is india's trade with brazil only india's exports to brazil and india's imports from brazil now there are a few questions which we need to answer which we will take one by one the first question is in which year the value of exports to brazil exceeds the imports from brazil so we need to find in which year now it's not one year there are quite a number of years so let us see where the blue line crosses the pink line for which years so we have just a minute here so here we have here that is in 2008 the line is above the blue line is higher than uh, the pink line then 2010 then 2011 in 12 it has come below the pink line so we won't take 2012 then 2013 and again 2014 and 2016 So these are the years when the exports of India, two thousand and eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So these are the years in which the value of exports to Brazil exceeded the imports. That means these were the years when the trade was favorable with Brazil. India's trade is favorable. The second question is in which year the trade with Brazil was most favorable of all. so in order to find out which year the trade was most favorable okay we need to minus the higher value that is uh, we need to minus exports from imports okay so uh, we and the year when we find that the imports is higher that's not a favorable trade so we will not talk about that at all so the years 2000 and 8 is out of sorry 2010 is out of question i'll look at my graph in the textbook 2010 is out of question and 2012 is also out of question because those were unfavorable years now in 2008 if you find for each year in 2008 here here we find that the export was 3500 minus the import here is 1000 so in this year we have the balance of trade as 2500 okay then in the year 2011 we'll take the next one now in 2011 we find the exports were 6000 and imports were 3100 here okay so 3100 so that makes a difference of 2800 so we have 2500 2800 let's note it down somewhere in your books then in 2013 we have the exports value 6300 look at your graphs 2013 okay so here it is 6300 and the imports in the same year is 3000 so that comes to 3300 okay so we had 2500 2800 3300 then we take the year 2014 okay in 2014 we have the export value here okay so the ex here almost so the export value here is 6600 minus 4900 and that becomes 1600 so which year do you find that the trade was most favorable it's 2013 okay the year 2013 when we had the favorable trade as 3000 the balance of trade as 3300 
okay then comment upon the balance of trade in the year 2013 now this was the year when the trade was most favorable when the exports were 6300 our import value was 3000 okay us million dollars do not forget the unit and therefore that means india had a very favorable in fact the best most favorable balance of trade with brazil in the year 2013 and uh, therefore this year we can say as the trade was most favorable you can mention what was the export what was the import and what was the balance of trade the next question from which year the value of exports to brazil have exceeded the value of imports now if we look at the graph okay we find that there are twi uh, twice we find that the trades the exports have become lower that is in the year 2010 and in the year 2012 here okay so these two years the trade was uh, the exports became lesser than imports so they have asked us a question from which year onwards the values of exports have exceeded the value of brazil so up till here it's out of question so it's after you can say after 2012 or you can take it from 2013 onwards okay since a, it's a decade we can also say after 2012 the exports have been more than import because after 2012 or rather 2013 as you may take it okay we have not seen decline anywhere okay though here the trade has come down the exports have come down but still it is more than the imports okay so from 2013 onwards or after 2012 then write a note on a on the trade between brazil and india okay now india's trade with brazil as we have seen has been fluctuating okay in 2010 and 12 the in, the exports became lesser than imports so it's a fluctuating trade and it uh, these are the two years it's not 2009 it is 2000 and yeah sorry 2009 2009 and 2012 okay when the trade has been unfavorable there was good increase in exports to brazil but after 2014 Okay if you look at the graph properly after 2014 the exports have shown a sharp decline though the exports continue to be higher than the imports okay that means the trade continues to be favorable with brazil but the problem is that the curve shows a sharp decline the graph is showing a sharp decline in exports as well as in imports okay but however it is a favorable trade now why is india's trade with brazil so favorable okay now indian companies have set up industrial centers all over brazil okay and have invested a lot of capital all this is the last paragraph on page 59 now indian companies have invested in sectors like it in pharmaceutical in energy in agri business in mining engineering and auto industries brazil's footprints in india now brazil's trade with india so imports rather now for us when where we have to pay the brazilians so brazil's footprints in india is quite small much smaller so they have not invested much in india india has invested a lot in brazil okay however it is important it is significant though the footprints are much smaller but it is significant trade with brazil brazilian companies have invested in automobile in it in mining in energy in biofuel as well as in footwear okay so uh, at the end you have something called do you know now we have always heard that brazil is a good exporter of coffee but did you know that coffee was a native brought from ethiopia ethiopia is a country in africa okay and the french traders the french settlers they brought this particular coffee plant to brazil and today brazil is the largest producer of coffee in the world 
Okay, so coffee farms are called fazendas. I taught this in chapter two as well. Then, uh, did you know? Now, India has taxes on goods. We have taxes for everything. Okay, but however, we have GST. What does the GST stands for? Goods and Service Tax. And GST has a lot of slabs. Okay, eight percent, twelve percent, fifteen percent, eighteen percent, so on and so forth. Brazil also has GST like India. Okay, and they also their GST also has various slabs. So now you know from where all the ideas of our economy comes. Okay, so thank you. God bless you. I will soon come back with question answers. Take care.